Th think of a heinous thing. I don't want right, to get right. you banned. I was born that way. You're saying, uh, basically, you're saying born this way doesn't necessarily mean it's a good thing? All right, well, we will disagree on that. It's okay. That you is. don't hate me? My name is Vanessa. I'm taking this off. My name is <laughs> <laughs> Vanessa. And most people know me as gothics. You've been kind of very outspoken about the LGBT community recently. Most of those LGBT community things I don't agree with either. So there are three things that we disagree on. And guess what? I still respect her. She still respects me. We're still friends. We're still fighting the good fight because morally we have more in common than not. One thing we disagree on is pronouns. I'm a little bit more liberal in that way of somebody, if I know somebody is legitimately transgender, actually has gender dysphoria, actually making an effort societally to blend in as the sex that they feel they are, I will call them said pronoun. And I believe there is a massive slippery slope to that. Uh, I, Which is know, also true. Two things can be true at once. Yeah, I know a lot of people who take the position that you do. My question would be, well, what do you mean by really trans? And if the answer is someone who is dealing with gender dysphoria, then, you know, I'm of the position that we should be encouraging people to accept the way that they are. Not in terms of behavior, because you can change behavior. You know, if I, if I call a man a she and a her. <clears throat> Naturally, logically, if you're giving them the pronouns, now it's, well, now I want to be treated like a woman. And so it's, a, how far do we keep going? And I just right. think while it might be, it might upset people's feelings, I get that, I understand that. I have nothing but empathy for people that sh struggle with gender dysphoria. Yeah. Facts are good, yeah. facts are important. The mm. truth will set you free. Yeah. And I don't think lying for the sake of feelings is a good precedent we should set. Science isn't subjective, but society is. And that's where I draw the line, right? Mm -hmm. Because if somebody is out there and looks like a woman, she's going to be treated like a woman. There's a thin line where I walk along because I do have friends that are trans, and, but at the same time, I can understand completely the slippery slope argument as well. For, at least from my experience, a lot of people, they, they have like a limit. Like, okay, I'll, I'll try to make this work, but I'm gonna stop right here. I'll, allow feelings and lies to rule the world, eventually people are gonna meet their limit. More and more people are, because more and more people are leaving leftism and progressive ideology and gender ideology behind every day. Listen, engaging in a respectful, enriching debate can be a great experience if you do it between friends or between anybody for that matter. If you have a deep understanding of diverse perspective, if you have some empathy. However, this becomes incredibly difficult in today's world where many people find themselves in echo chambers and where media reinforces specific narratives. Recently, there was a story about USA Boxing Association. It was criticized for allowing transgender competitors I found this article through my buddies over at Ground News. I use both their app and their website. To get news from all over the world, it allows me to see both perspectives or all perspectives. For example, we can see over 35 sources covered this story, but 85% coming from right-leaning sources. If you read the left-leaning sources, this might be slipping under your radar, making it a blind spot, of course. What I love about Ground News and the fact that they are a continued sponsor is because they offer so much more context compared to mainstream media. And these features definitely make it way easier for me to get to the bottom of every story. I found this article while searching through the LGBTQ interest page where you can find the top and latest news. I absolutely adore Ground News and can't find a better way to consume media. I obviously highly recommend you guys go and check them out. And you can subscribe to their app and their website for as little as $1 a month. You can go to ground.news slash area. Or you can choose to get 30% off unlimited access to their platform through this link as well. Another thing we disagree on is the idea of love. And obviously I'm a lesbian, you're straight. I, I go by the the biblical standard of love. To me, romantic love we're talking about would be anytime you want to be a partner to somebody, that you're attracted to them physically, that you morally have your values aligned, that you want to see each other grow, you want to help each other grow in the best way possible, you want to see, even if it's not with you, you want to see that person be the best version of themselves. But the good thing is, neither of us have to live by the other person's definition of it. Mm -hmm. That's the good thing about being in America! Yeah. <laughs> where, where is your standard of love? So my standard comes from the biblical definition mm -hmm. of love. If you don't know God, you don't know love. <clears throat> I would say if you don't know yourself, you don't know love. And yourself meaning the self is also connected to the higher power. I don't think it's separate from us. Do you see God as separate and you have to look 
towards kind of Does well, that make sense like I see I see if you know yourself you do know God I, w I wouldn't agree with that because some people are shitty and yeah. them selves being a standard isn't a good standard um, I think we have to have a standard that transcends individuality huma yeah individuality well, like romantic love to me would be like mental spiritual physical connection okay and soulful connection you mentioned like what about people in other countries mm -hmm. that love little children how do we decide who's the right one <laughs> in this I would, I would say a, cons a consent issue for me and I and I also believe that you can be there sure. are tons of gay people and straight people alike mm -hmm. in abusive relationships right now they do not want to be with their partners and mm -hmm. and people are holding finances over their heads I don't think that's okay either just because mm -hmm. biblically it might be okay where are you getting this idea that consent is actually a good thing I agree with you because to me pain is a bad thing pain and suffering is bad why that's a tricky question too. <laughs> it's not always bad because it can help you grow, but ideally I think a good person would want to lessen suffering overall, but the more serious types of it, I would say. So you feel like a good person is someone who wants to minimize pain and suffering, murder bad, rape bad, etc. Right. Where are you getting that from? Saying this is your standard of good. So is there something that you're pulling from to say, this is the objective moral law that would make someone a good person or is this simply your perspective? It's probably my perspective and the fact that I was raised Catholic and we were taught certain morals and I still believe in a lot of those morals. The morals that I believe in from that religion are the more spiritual aspects of it and not necessarily like the church aspect. Hmm. I was raised, oh. I'm Italian, I was raised Catholic, girl. Oh, we okay, I mean, I <laughs> Everybody knows, every, every Italian out there is 99% of the Roman, Ca Roman Catholic. Mm -hmm. I'm not Catholic myself. I, I, am, but... I am well versed. Okay, so the third thing that we disagree on, I was born this way. Like I know that I, since I was nine years old, since I was old enough to understand sexual orientation, doesn't mean that when I was nine years old I wanted like a girl. That's not what it means. It means there was, I knew there was always something different about me. I knew there was something different about me. Stop being so I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm a little chilly. Right? All right, chill out, Sasquatch, all right? Relax. All right. So you think you were born this way? I do. Have you always dated girls? No. So you've dated a boy before? Yes. Like dated or had sex? I de I've never had sex with a guy. You've kissed a guy? You yes. Just, and okay. I hated every second of it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can relate to some of that. What do you think about people who identify as gay and lesbian in their youth, but then years later mm -hmm. say that they don't have those feelings anymore? Do you think that these people were never gay? I think there was a number of different things. I think that, and, and I've seen this with some of my friends that are transgender, that their sexual orientation changed. I think that hormones change the body and the brain. And if your hormones change, that your sexual orientation can change. That doesn't mean that you're not born this way. It means you can be born one way and obviously you're, you're, you can be born with blue eyes and your eyes change color. Your, your, what do they say? Your body changes every seven years? I hope, I hope right? not, like, man. Yeah. Well, like your, but your body goes through like massive changes every, every seven years or so. I think it's a hormone thing. It's a hormone and chemical thing. And I think that has, I think that's similar to, you know, people with depression, people that have gender dysphoria, people that are same sex attracted. I think it is a chemical, not necessarily imbalance, but it is, it is a chemical shift that happens. We don't really know why, but we know it happens. And people's orientation change, kind of, I guess, but only if your chemistry changes. Mm -hmm. Because that's what made you gay or straight in the first place. Uh, multiple studies of how testosterone levels are higher in lesbians and in gay men. No. Gay men on average have higher testosterone levels, have larger penises on average also. Hormones and chemicals have a lot to do with it, if not all of it. I think there is a scientific base to it. Okay. But science can change. I don't think science can say anything. I think scientists say things. I don't fully trust scientists. You can make the science say something for the sake of getting more funding, as we see with like the trans stuff. I'm not sold on it being something that's strictly chemical. I think it has more to do with feelings. Uh, so I, but feelings are also chemical. All right, well, and I can prove that. So are we in agreement that feelings change? Yes. If there was a scientist who could prove that there was some type of difference in someone's chemistry mm -hmm. that made them prone to performing some other type of act. Mm -hmm. Think of a heinous thing. I don't want right, to get right. you banned. I was born that way. You're saying, uh, basically you're saying born this way doesn't necessarily mean it's a good thing? And then that, op not. And then that opens up an entirely different of discussion. Not. The born this way argument is not the fact that we're born this way. It's the fact that we're born this way and it's between consenting adults. That's 
there's a whole other part to that. But born this yeah, way. yeah, yeah. I can say that you you are more reasonable on this topic because I'll meet people uh, and I'll ask them that question, mm -hmm. like, what do you think about people who used to be gay and aren't gay? They were faking it, and it's like, well, hold on a second. Are you gay either. keeping their feelings? How no. do you, you know what I mean? Like, I think there's also more bisexuals in the world than anything else, and sometimes it's just that one guy or that one girl that you meet, then that makes you realize, well, maybe I was bi and not gay the whole time. That's mm. also a very possible thing. I think it's a matter of environment. I don't doubt that some people feel certain things. Should they do certain things? Is it good for them to do it? I think we talked earlier off camera about, mm -hmm. is it normal? And then you asked, well, what is what normal? What is normal? I, I don't think it's normal if your definition of normal is like for procreation because gays can't procreate. But I think it's, normal in a sense if we're talking about current like there's like the gay is now considered a normal thing like a lot of that a lot of people are accepting of acceptance of lgbt people in general not we're not talking about the extremism on, on either side a net good for society because it's allowing more different types of love consenting in the world. Assuming we're going based off of your definition of love. All right. Well, we will disagree on that. It's okay. That you is, don't hate me? Are you going to go I block me when you go home? <laughs> no. Cause no, just let I'm me from, know right now. I'm from New York. <laughs> I will tell you to your face if I don't like you. I will tell you to your face if I disagree with you and we'll have a conversation then we'll go for a slice of pizza after. Let me know what you guys think in the comments of the three things that we disagree on, what side you're on, and maybe we'll do another video in the future. All right. Yeah. Keep calling out the bullshit. I will see you guys on Sunday with a brand new video. Bye. Oh, good. Yeah. Was I much more reasonable than you thought?